What's up guys and welcome to one of the best YouTube channels ever. And today I finally start to compare the United States and Russia. Yesterday I read an article under the title The Russian iPhone 11 turned out to be the most expensive in the world. So let's start our grand tour of comparisons from Apple. Among the most popular brands, Apple takes a second place in the world after Google. iPad, iPhone, iWatch, AirPods, uh, MacBook. I bet most of you have one of these devices or even all of them. For example, in Russia, every second person uses iPhone and AirPods. Even if a little Russian boy has a Chinese phone for, for example, $100, he uses AirPods. And it's really strange, because in Russia, Apple products cost much more than in the United States or Europe. So, first of all, I will show you how Apple products are sold in Russia, because we don't have official Apple stores. Then we will compare prices for iPhones, iPods, uh, MacBooks. And finally, I will show you how you can cheat in Russia and buy, for example, iPhone for half price. Let's go. Nope. Nope. <laughs> First of all, Apple products in Russia are sold in Restore shops. It's a premium Apple reseller which has contracts with the American company. An analog of official Apple store. Secondly, in all electronic stores like M-Video, Eldorado and others. Finally, there are special markets where Apple products cost maybe even less than the United States, but I will tell you about them later. As in any country, you can touch it, you can make photos, try to play games before purchase, in short, to decide whether you need it or not. I like it. I really like it. But I suppose it's too expensive. So, let's compare American and Russian prices. Maybe I'm whining for nothing. And let's take iPhone 11, which I suppose is the most attractive for consumers because of value for money. We are opening an official Apple site, choose the desired device and see. The cheapest version for 64GB costs $700 and the most expensive $849. We open the same page, but Russian version. Wait a minute, I am converting Russian currency to dollars. The cheapest version costs $983 instead of $700, $1065 instead of $750, and $1215 against $850. The average difference is more than $320. What the f Russia. And to save time, I won't compare iPhone 11 Pro, cause Pro Max Pro, Max, not Max, the same difference. By the way, a mobile phone for more than $1,000 has 64 gigabytes. Guys from Apple, are you mad? Shame on you. Nevertheless, $1,100 in the United States for such infamous version against $1,640 in Russia. 1250 for the most popular version, I suppose, against 1870 And finally, $1,450 against 2165 Cluster <laughs> The difference is more than $700. Is it legally? I can buy two iPhones in America instead of one in Russia. <sighs> Unbelievable. Let's check new AirPods. However, from my point of view, old version is much better. Uh, okay, $250 in the United States against $350 in Russia. Not so bad. By the way, let's check old version. $200 in the United States instead of $270 in Russia. 35% difference. Disorder. And let's speed up. The best MacBook Pro, $2,800 in America against 
$3,800 in Russia. Let's slow down. Russia, what the f***? Apple, what the f***? Why? The difference is more than $1,000. All Apple products are made in China, and Russia is much closer to China than the United States. So we must have lower prices. Who gets my $1,020? Okay. Sorry. I'm just being And finally, let's check Apple Watch 5. Unfortunately, in Russia we have only GPS version, so $429 instead of $570 in Russia. Conclusion. What do we do wrong? We, I mean Russians. Why Apple doesn't like us so much? Of course I knew about price differences, but I couldn't even imagine that they are so huge. I am very sad. However, I would like to tell you about one way how you can buy Apple products in Russia for a lower price. Now I am near Garbushka market and here you can buy everything from underpants to airplanes. Almost all products here are exported from different countries and are sold here with a small margin. And Apple products are not an exception. By the way, do you know in what country the cheapest iPhone 11 is sold? In Japan iPhone 11 64 gigabytes costs there about $670, cheaper than both in the United States and in Russia. And don't forget about tax-free. You don't have to pay that if you don't use iPhone in Japan. In other words, if you export it. So the final price is about $620. And here it is sold uh, for about $700, $720. It's benefit. And of course, such markets have their online shops. So, let's check prices. Wait a minute. Okay, yes, $750 for a new iPhone 11 from Japan. And let's find iPhone 11 Pro Max. Okay, the cheapest version costs $1,200 and the best one, $1,800. Nice price. So, to make a long story short, much cheaper than in official stores. However, of course, there are some disadvantages. For example, uh, you can't buy iPhone here in credit, only cash. Then you don't have a guarantee from a shop, only official guarantee from Apple. It means that if you buy iPhone here and it doesn't work, you will have to go to Japan and change it for a new one and many other problems. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope for your support. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, like this video. And of course, I'm looking forward to reading your comments. Write me some new ideas for my videos. By the way, now we have our Instagram page. I really advise you to subscribe because there are many cool vines. Don't buy Apple products in Russia. See you soon. Abnyal.